Now we will talk about next microorganism and that is algae. How these organisms are, whether they are plant like or animal like. So these are actually the one which has got chlorophyll, has chlorophyll. As it has got chlorophyll, that is the reason they are autotrophs, are autotrophs. That means the one which can prepare their own food. They can be green or red colored or maybe even brown color. The color totally depends upon the color of the pigment which is present in them. Depends upon the color of the pigment which is present in them. It can be thread like maybe uh, filamentous it can be unicellular and can be multicellular it can be unicellular or multicellular that means a great variety is there in when we talk about the algae these are uh, autotrophs and why these are autotrophs the very first clear point that it has got chlorophyll due to the presence of the chlorophyll these are all uh, these alga are you know it's possible for them to make their own food this is very very first and at most important point that it has got chlorophyll and that is the reason these are autotrophs the color can vary from green it can be red color it can be brown color it depends totally upon these upon the pigment which is present in them it can be thread like it can be filamentous it can be branched again varies from one species to the another one now the alga can be unicellular structure that means very minute structure which cannot be seen by the naked eyes and it can be multicellular which can be seen with the naked eyes now when we talk about the common one the common alga if we talk about the first things which comes in my mind uh, can be uh, you know anna anaben nostoc and uh, it can be the spirogara and where it is found if we talk about the habitat of the algae then it is it can be found actually these are water basically present in water and can be present in fresh water or can be in stagnant or salty it can be present in stagnant and salty water also that means it will be found uh, where the moist area is there talk about the stones near by the river the uh, structure the greenish structure you know after even the slightest rain also if you go in uh, some forest area or out outhouses where the uh, if you see certain bricks if you see certain rocks you will find certain greenish structure if you try to walk on the you know side of the the banks of the river if you try to get you know on the very near part the in the river and you try to walk over there you will find it's, it, it that part to be very slippery why that is very slippery because of the growth of the alga that part particular part becomes very very slippery and so we slip, slip over there so uh, these are basically these can be find we can see this in the water these are actually aquatic plants we can say these are aquatic plants and these aquatic plants can be seen 
wherever the water is there. there it can be filamentous, it can be thread like, it can be branched, it can be unicellular, multicellular, can be uh, red, brown or green. It can be found near the rivers, in the banks, no banks means not that bank, river banks. That means it is an aquatic plant found wherever the moisture is available. This is all the basic very very general characteristics or the features of the algae. If I want to talk about the examples, the first one if we talk about the very common example can be nostoc, spirogyra, it can be chlamydomonas, ok. So, uh, various kinds of algae are present. I would like to draw some of them and uh, just so that we can understand the structure uh, basically you know how does it looks. So, if I draw it like this it can be like this structure. This I am drawing an algae. As told, it can be chain, branch, filamentous. So, this is no stock. Okay. If I talk about Clamidomonas, so This is Clamidomonas. This is a rough diagram, student, not very perfect one I am uh, drawing over here. So, this is Nostoc, this one is Clamidomonas, I can draw even more and I mean I can draw. So, uh, these are the very common one which is uh, you know when we talk about algae the thing which comes in our mind will uh, be the Nostoc and the and I mean, uh, Clamidomonas and even the oscillators. So, even it can be like this. I am not drawing the clear structure. Now, these are the very commonly found or seen algae. Now, we need to talk directly upon the, this structure is little bit different. Now, we need to talk about the useful, useful aspect and the harmful aspect. When I say that I want to talk about the useful aspect, the very common as we have discussed just now. As I was discussing and I was saying that if I have to write, if I have to write the common uses, okay, common uses of any of the microorganism, what can be the common uses of the microorganism? The very common uses can be again in the field of medical, in the field of agriculture, in the field of food, in the field of the cosmetics. So, again we will be talking, now I am talking about the useful aspect useful uh, algae. So, how these algae are very very useful? So, first of all in the field of the agriculture. When we say agriculture, we all know that uh, these microorganisms are used in agriculture in basically because they you, you know uh, they decompose the thing. 
but when we talk about algae what is there it has got lot of iodine it has got lot of uh, you know uh, potassium it has got lot of sodium in that that also we are going to discuss but it is it is rich in nutrients it is rich with nutrients it has got lot of nutrients and that is the reason in the field of agriculture also these uh, algae um, algae plays very important role you know certain seaweeds certain seaweeds are directly or directly added in the or along with the crop along with the crop what does it mean that means just the seaweeds are taken and it is just you know added along with the crops like that only sometime you know while tilling while tilling when the what is tilling the making of the soil has to be you know uh, like plowing is done the soil has to like soil becomes loose it becomes you know the air can pass easily the water can be absorbed easily that means the tilling of the field has to be done that we have already discussed what is tilling and what is plowing in the first chapter so sometimes in certain fields these algae okay the seaweeds are directly added during the plowing that means during the plowing or tilling when this uh, soil has to be dug you know and it has to be turned up and down these seaweeds are spread it so that it becomes a part of the soil sometimes this these seaweeds are spread it like that only as because these contains lots of iodine potassium sodium that means these are rich in minerals these are rich uh, source of uh, the minerals and when these uh, are thrown or uh, added like that in the normal way in the field when it get decomposed get mixed up with the soil and so makes the soil very very rich in the nutrients like iodine sodium and potassium which are used by the plants so certain seaweeds like like what is the use in the field of the agriculture certain seaweeds are directly added or directly added along with the crop in the field and these seaweeds as these are very very rich okay are rich in iodine potassium and sodium so when they get mixed up with the soil when they get decomposed and get mixed up with the soil okay then it gives lots of nutrients to the uh, the crop the growing crops this is a very very important use of the algae second use i will take the same one in the another way it is also used as the food now i'm talking about food this was about agriculture and now i'm talking about food as these are rich in algae are rich source of iodine potassium and sodium are used please remember i am whenever i am writing i am not writing in the form of the complete sentences the gist i am writing so if you uh, read this algae are rich source of iodine potassium and sodium are used so this sentence is not uh, complete but then you have to frame the sentences i am not writing the complete sentences over here are used as food in what way are these uh, algae uh, used in the food sometime maybe in the if you talk about china and japan many of the algae are used as the uh, sometimes maybe in the form of the soup maybe in the form of the jellies maybe uh, sometimes in the uh, uh, pulao's vegetables one or the other way it is used uh, so that these uh, nutrients can be used by the human body 
as these are very very rich with iodine and sodium and potassium and certain other minerals also they have and it is used in the field of the uh, like food and fodder. Certain, uh, certain algae is also used by the or used for animals. What is the meaning of used for animals means used as what? Used as fodder for the animals. Why it is used for the fodder as fodder for the animals? For what is the meaning of fodder? The uh, food of the animals. Why it is used? Why it is given to the animals also? Again the same thing that it is rich in vitamins also. Rich in vitamins also. It has got a lot of nutrients and so it is also used as fodder for many uh, of the animals. Say example uh, for the ships actually if we talk about laminaria is the uh, algae which is used as a fodder for the ship. As these have lots of nutrient contents in that, so it is consumed by human beings, uh, especially in the Japan and in the uh, uh, China. Then it is also given as the fodder uh, to the animals because again the same reason it is rich in nutrients and with like vitamins are there, iodine is there, sodium is there, potassium is there, what else you want. Now if we talk about the next use, if we talk about the medicines. In the field of medicine, it is used to make cosmetics and even certain uh, tablets and why it is used and uh, uh, for what reason it is used because it has got certain important product in that like chlorine. Uh, which is present in this uh, algae and that is the reason it is used in making uh, many cosmetics and also certain antibiotics in the form of the tablets. Now if we talk about the next now there is no place left to right over here. Now if we talk about in the same way the different uh, industries if you talk about the different industry uh, like certain chemicals are there okay certain products are there which is used in the industries if you talk about industry so certain products like agar there is no place to write which is made by or which is the product of red algae and algin which is the product of the brown algae. Algin there is no place I am not able to write properly which is given by the brown algae. It is used in industry because it gives rise to the products like agar agar, algin these products are used in the industry and again this can be used in the cosmetics and you know different jellies uh, which are uh, which is used for the uh, you know the faces and the body creams and all this kind of cosmetics thing. So it the, because why it is used because it produces certain substances like agar and algin and that is the reason it is used in different forms. So broadly if we talk about if we talk about the useful part of the algae again the same points are there that this is used in agriculture why it is used in agriculture because it is very rich source it has got lots of minerals and vitamins in that so uh, only one point if you remember you can write in different ways that it is rich in uh, certain minerals and vitamins and that is the reason it is used by the humans especially in the countries like China and Japan where these algae are used in the soups and various things you can write in the pulaos and vegetables and salads and you know various ways it is consumed just to enrich because all these are very rich in the minerals. Second if we talk about agriculture 
the same point I'm talking about that as these are rich with certain nutrients, it is used uh, or mixed up directly with the soil to make the uh, or to improve the quality of the soil. Same as it is rich in nutrients is used as a fodder for the animals say for example laminaria algae is used for the uh, ships as a fodder. If we talk about med medicines again all the microorganisms are used in uh, uh, you know uh, one or the other way in the uh, field of the medicine in the same way algae are also used in the medicine. It is used in industries also because they are uh, uh, you know giving certain products like agar agar and algin which is again made by certain different different kinds of algae as I told that agar agar is given by the red algae, algin is given by the uh, brown algae. Uh, in the same way iodine if we talk about it is kelp one uh, algae its name is kelp. This kelp is very very rich, rich source of iodine. So different different algae have different different uh, qualities and different uh, usefulness and that is the reason it is used in many different ways. But the broader aspect the broader way hmm, will be same only. Now the next one will be nitrogen fixation there is no place now nitrogen fixation. When we talk about nitrogen fixation we all know that uh, there are certain bacteria which are responsible for nitrogen fixation. But while teaching uh, nitrogen fixation uh, while teaching bacteria also I told that there are certain algae like nostoc and anabena which are also responsible for nitrogen fixation. What they do they fix they convert the atmospheric nitrogen directly into the nitrates or I can say that they convert the nitrogen into the compounds of nitrogen which can be utilized by the plants and so even this nitrogen fixation uh, is the one which is very helpful for us because here the nitrogen get converted there is no place I am not writing over here. So nitrogen fixation the one very important use of algae is there are certain algae which are uh, capable of fixing or converting nitrogen into the compounds of nitrogen and thus very important for us. So this one was the fifth one uh, while discussing bacteria we discussed that there are certain algae so that here I am discussing about the algae and so I am saying that there are certain algae which are responsible for the conversion of nitrogen from, uh, from nitrogen to the nitrogen compound and uh, it becomes very helpful for the plants also. So basically all these are the useful aspect aspects of the algae. Now we need to talk about the harmful part of algae. So basically uh, there is nothing much when we talk about the harmful part of the algae uh, but still as we know eutrophication. I will be writing also I will be clearing this and writing but before that just want to give a, a small idea of what I am talking about. Now this was about the useful part of algae here we have discussed the general feature of the algae how algae are these are plants. Basically when we were talking about the bacteria and fungus I said these are not plants because they do not have chlorophyll. Now these, ha these algae or the algas have chlorophyll and so these comes into the category of plants. These have uh, chlorophyll and so they are autotrophs they can prepare their own food. Their mode of nutrition is autotropic and not heterotropic. Their structure can be different as they can be of one cell they can be made up of many cells their, their structure can be like chain like or you know the, the filamentous one they can be even branched and they are generally they are the what they are aquatic plants. When we talk about the useful we have discussed enough with the useful part of the algae now I will be discussing the harmful part. 
when we talk, when we say about the harmful part of the algae, uh, algae is aquatic plant I told you and that is the reason when the um, water, when the water which is rich in the nutrients, maybe the sewage water, maybe the water which comes from the uh, fields. Uh, which contains many of the fertilizers and it becomes rich in the uh, nutrients like minerals like maybe phosphorus maybe nitrogen which is all required for the plants to grow basically try to understand these all are plants when where it will grow in river uh, in, the, uh, in the in the water bodies for growing for the better growth they even these plants need uh, good nutrients when in the rivers or in the water bodies the water which is rich in nutrients talk about the water which comes from the field in the field we use fertilizers so due to fertilizers the, the whatever is required by the plant is absorbed by the plants most of the part also get washed away with the rain rain and when this water get mixed up with the river water it contains lots of nutrients even the sewage will be having lot of you know the human excreta uh, or the animal excreta when it, it get mixed up with the river water bodies all this will also will have nutrients when such kind of water gets mixed up with the water bodies alga grows very fast over there this alga grows very fast and then what happens all the oxygen which is required for the animals whatever uh, oxygen is required for the animals will be used by these algas that means the that particular water where these algas are growing will become uh, oxygen deficient this is first thing second thing when these alga decompose uh, when they die actually when they die the bacteria, the aerobic bacteria work upon these algas. Again now aerobic uh, bacteria are working upon these algas, they are decomposing it in the decomposition part also oxygen is required. So due to this the oxygen, the availability of the oxygen for the animals which are living, the aquatic animals which are living in the water become very less. And due to this the lot of organism die. Uh, in the water only. This alga bloom is known as eutrophication. This bloom of alga is known as eutrophication. So we will talk more about this eutrophication. I will just clear this, clean this and then we will talk about eutrophication. I will write and I will explain what is actually eutrophication. Now we will be discussing harmful part. So we were discussing about eutrophication as the board was not clean so I started uh, just you know explaining without writing only. So we are talk, talking about the eutrophication actually when the algas, I told you that these are aquatic plants, when these aquatic plants get lot of water, which kind of water? nutrient water the water which has got lot of nutrients okay so nutrient rich water nutrients rich water these alga blooms grow very fast It is known as alga bloom. Or even eutrophication. Now when the water surface. When the water surface get covered totally by alga. This water surface get covered totally by alga. Then what will happen? Here the other organisms are also there. The fishes are there. The other organisms are many many thousand species are there 
Now when the space is covered by all these alga, these will be using oxygen at the night time specially. At the night time specially, what will happen see in the day time during the presence of the sunlight, these will be also using carbon dioxide, but I am talking about the night. So, they will be using oxygen and they will be giving out carbon dioxide. So, because of alga bloom what will happen the water will become water will become oxygen deficient it will become oxygen deficient that means oxygen will be less for the other organism. Moreover when this die on the when the alga die okay wait due to oxygen deficient what will happen the organisms will also their life will be hampered organisms affected negatively other organisms will get affected negatively now along with that what happen when alga die when alga die it is decomposed by bacteria bacterias decompose them when alga die bacterias decompose decomposes it ok. Now when this decomposition process takes place that means when lot of alga is there and all these alga dies then who is going to attack on dead and decay plants and animals the bacteria will come. In the process of decomposition in the process of decomposition again oxygen is utilized in decomposition process. in decomposition process in decomposition process by bacteria oxygen is utilized oxygen is utilized. Now the aquatic animals fall really short of now oxygen aquatic animals fall short of oxygen fall short of oxygen and what will happen they will die this is how alga is harmful for us I will explain it again alga is all algas are aquatic plants they grow in nutrient rich water they grow it they grow like this also in water bodies but when they will be getting a good nutrient water then uh, what will happen the growth will be more faster smoother that is the reason when the aquatic plants or the alga gets nutrient rich water they grow very fast. This very fast growth of alga is also known as alga bloom. Now what happens due to alga bloom water will become oxygen deficient like the amount of oxygen will get reduced in water. Due to this what will happen it will give negative effect on the other organisms. This is not enough when alga dies when all these alga they all have life cycle very small life cycle and after completing the life cycle when they die when they collapse on the surface then who will be decomposing them bacteria will come and attack on them and they will be decomposing them. In this decomposition process oxygen is required and in this aquatic animals really uh, fall short of oxygen and they die. That is the reason the whole food chain the food web get disturbed the water bodies food chain get disturbed. This was the first which is also known as eutrophication. this was the first harmful effect and the second harmful effect if I talk about 
alga produces certain toxic material alga certain alga okay certain alga produces toxic material certain toxic materials uh, or material are produced and as we all know these are aquatic plants so when aquatic plants alga produce toxic substances where it is going to go it is going to go obviously in the water alga produces toxic substances which obviously will be in water and is harmful is harmful for the aquatic animals aquatic animals and plants and is responsible for their death this is what the certain algas they produce certain toxic substances and due to this sort toxic substances which again get mixed up with the water and it hampers the growth for of other organism or other aquatic animals and many a times it is also responsible for the death of the certain living creatures also so this is basically the harmful aspects of alga eutrophication which is also known as alga boom bloom which is responsible for the death of many aquatic animals and secondly the uh, due to the formation of the toxic material again it give rise to the death of the many organisms so this was all about the alga now i'll move to the next topic please note this